My name is Andreas Bak Ingemann and I work here as a dental application specialist and I am educated uh, mechanical engineer. I work uh, with uh, projects both for our customer, uh, customers but also for our own projects. Um, I work with uh, design and research and uh, verification testing and uh, validation testing and technical documentation and uh, different uh, sorts, if you could say that. The hybrid based solutions is a uh, is a customized uh, project uh, product um, where you uh, fit a ceramic uh, superstructure on top of a titanium base where the hybrid base that we manufacture is the titanium base. Um, it solves the problems where uh, uh, dental labs are able to uh, to mill um, the superstructures themselves uh, cheaply and faster. Uh, and, and also uh, to get a more satisfying product in the end, where it, it contains less uh, manual labor. I think we have introduced some features in our design that our competitors doesn't have. Um, we introduced uh, some features where uh, the hybrid base uh, is not going to fall out from the superstructure uh, prior to, to cementing. Uh, also, we introduced the ability to have uh, angulated screw channels in the superstructure. Uh, and that is some that is some new features that uh, not so many competitors on the market currently have today. It was very important for us that we were going to develop the best product on the market uh, with, uh, f um, with focus on, the, on flexibility and patient safety uh, and uh, quality and things like that. And I believe that we have succeeded with our goal. Um, we are very pleased with the, the outcome of uh, our project. So, yeah. Digital dentistry is getting more and more popular uh, these years, and uh, it is uh, available for, for less money than it, than it used to be uh, in the beginning. So it has become more popular uh, to, uh, to um, introduce this digital workflow uh, in the dental labs, also in the smaller dental labs uh, with the 3D scanning and 3D printing uh, and, and these uh, desktop millers. So the hybrid-based solution is a perfect fit for, for the digital dentistry. Uh, and we offer, uh, we offer this pro product uh, with supporting uh, products uh, to, to make it fit in the digital workflow. We believe that the, one of the biggest advantages for using the, the ELAS uh, hybrid base uh, solution is that we offer all uh, the supporting uh, products around it. We have the, the scan bodies and the model analogs and uh, open libraries for, for, for different uh, software platforms. Uh, we also have um, the support. Um, and and that's not something that uh, so many of our competitors have uh, this complete solution that we can offer. So that is uh, one of the biggest advantages by choosing uh, the ELAS hybrid-based solutions. We offer all the surrounding uh, components um, that, and that makes it uh, more uh, simple for, for the dental professionals to use this uh, product. Um, they can buy all the, all the components they need um, together with the hybrid base uh, uh, by us. And uh, also this is a, an open solution uh, that we, we offer the libraries for, for different uh, software platforms so they doesn't have to go out and buy something new. They can uh, make it fit in, in the software that uh, they already have, uh, both for scanning and for milling. Um, and that's an advantage for using the ELOS hybrid based solutions. The digital dentistry uh, is a field that has been uh, developing extremely fast in the, in the past years. And um, I see that uh, it, it's going to be developed even further. Um, today we, we still have uh, the parts of the analog workflow uh, in the digital workflow uh, by using these uh, models um, um, on the labs. And I can imagine that we some way uh, at some point in the future, nearby future, 
uh, are going to uh, to have uh, a model-less uh, digital workflow. Um, another thing that's um, kind of a problem by uh, that the digital uh, workflow has been uh, developing so fast is that uh, the law uh, ha hasn't been uh, been able to, to keep up. Uh, so we are, we are going to see some uh, regulations from, from governments in the nearby future and, and it's going to be a problem that um, is going to be addressed by uh, the implant uh, companies and uh, also us and but also the, the labs or the dentists um, because uh, the requirements um, are going to be increased quite a bit. So that's a challenge that we have to face uh, in the future.